Calamity Ganon. He's actually really close now. This is actually kind of terrifying <laughs> how close we've gotten to Hyrule Castle. Hello, everybody. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm going to have a little wander off this way to whatever the bridge was that these guys are going on about. Apparently, there's some kind of Zoran prince down here. I'm guessing it's this weird bluey looking bridge over there. Although, I also want to know what these kind of weird spires are as well. What are those all about? What in the world? Are they like little lanterns or something? And these are going to be like those blue flame things that we had before. Hello, friend. Whoa. Let's deal with the hammer. Oh, my God. He is jumping circles around us. There we go. Nice. Finish him off while she get a chance. Yeah. Good. Oh, no, no, no. One off. One off. There you go. What? How did that not land him? There we go. We nailed it. Apparently, we're now playing a uh, croquet. Welcome to the 18th annual Hyrule Croquet competition. I just want to keep on with the hard C sound. By the way, if my microphone sounds a little bit different today, everybody, it's because I'm filming from home. My work setup is a little janky. Uh, you might have noticed in the last episode or two uh, that my microphone sounded almost like distorted. And it's not been anything to do with the audio being too loud and whatnot. Um, it's just the actual hardware itself, which has been a little bit buggered. So um, that kind of explains that one. So let me just have a little run over this way. I want to see if this guy is actually over here. Oh, that's a Lazalthos again. Look at him trying to be like all disguised. There you go, sod off. Are you going to try and go for your little your little tongue stick? No, I didn't think so. And the finish. It only it doesn't seem to do that much damage when you do that sometimes. That's one annoying. Right, so where is... Was he called Simon? It's been a couple of days since I recorded this, so... I don't know where he is or what his name is. Oh! Oh, okay, apparently just going on the bridge triggers it. Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <laughs> wow, what an entrance. Sidon, the Zora Prince. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Oh, he's suave, isn't he? Oh yes, I'm Sidon. I talk very nice. Aha! A Hylian! Yes, I knew it! Oh, pardon me. I am Sidon, the Zora Prince. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it's a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell how you carry yourself, that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior amongst the Hylians, correct? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Aha! Just as I suspected. I'm a Zora Prince after all. I have an eye for the talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite. I've been searching for someone like you for a long time. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from Divine Beast Varuta. Please, promise me you'll help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? I mean, I was kind of in the middle of doing a thing and other stuff, but sure, okay. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You're indeed the man I thought you were. New Zora Domains, or oh, now Zora Domains, will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you'll need to go straight along this path. As a Hylian, I know you're unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. You may likely find a tough fight in there. The monsters up ahead that will attack with electricity. Don't give up. I believe in you. All right, whatever you say, dude. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Ooh, an Electro Elixir. Grants a mid-level resistance to electricity. Useful against enemies with electrical attacks. As you see, it is a drink. It will increase your resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there's nothing strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. Oh man. If we can if we can like save the Zora people and then we get the ability to be able to like swim around like them, that would be rad. 
I guess this is kind of like partly working towards now our objective of getting towards that shrine over there as well. So that's all good. Whoa, boy. Take it easy, friend. Oh, okay. Apparently, I'm just swinging at nothingness. There you go. Into the water, will ya? Oh, actually, no. I think they came out of the water before, didn't they? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Those guys are totally fine in the water. Whatever. Whoa. He spat his tongue out just at the exact same time that I, um, that I launched my sword. That was interesting. Oh, no. He spat water. Oh, my God. There's skeletal ones as well. Get out. As if. All right. Hold on a minute. I'm probably going to get wrecked here. Give me a second. Although, luckily, it looks like these guys, yeah, these guys only take one damage each. So, what is with the sudden um, health indicators above them? I'm sure we never had that before. Like, I remember for, like, the Bokoblin skeletons and all that sort of stuff, it never told us they were one HP. Otherwise, I'd never have been as scared of them as I was in the first place. The Enhanced Lysal Spear. Judging by the harpoon-like spearhead of this Lazalfos made spear, the Lazalfos use it for fishing as well as combat. Ooh. Oh, can we get a Lazalfos arm? Yeah, we can for 12 as well. Oh my god, so much stuff for us. There's even a little fishy who can't swim up the lake. Oh, come here. I want you. There you go. We got him. A, a Volt Fin Trout. So I'm guessing we can mix those guys in as well to make other elixirs, which would be super handy. Um, I'm hoping that I don't get pulled away with a tide here. Hold on a minute. Oh, jeez. No, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> All right. Another Talon as well. There was a few people commenting about just how many Bokoblin horns that I have at the moment. Um, and the reason I'm keeping a hold of them is because various different kinds of dyes and different elixirs were going to need them. And they're not exactly taking up numerous inventory slots. So there's really no biggie about it, to be honest. Like, I think people were commenting back when I had about 55 of them. And I was like, uh, I don't get what the problem is. I don't see what's what's so bad about this. Uh, that should be a good shot, actually. Apparently, you can also ride those elk as well. Elk and bears. People told me that you can actually jump on the back of, so I'm going to have to give that a try soon. Now, if I use his own weapon against him, will he die quickly? Not massively quickly, but quick enough. That's pretty good. What have we got there? A throwing spear. We already kind of got a spear. That's fine. <gasps> a Lazalfos tail. The severed tail of a Lazalfos. It continues to wriggle even after being separated from its body. That kind of vitality makes it highly valued as an ingredient in elixirs. Sweet. Why did I hear a little, like, almost like a, a little, like, twinkly noise just then? Oh, by the way, people have also told me that to get the fairies uh, by the fairy fountain that we saw. What are you? Oh, my God, it's a Goron. <laughs> oh, hi there, friend. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hey there, I'm Boldon, Goron City's ambassador of tourism. These days, though, Hyrule Castle is just a creepy old ruin. The treasure hunters who seek, uh, who sneak in there must be crazy. Uh, okay. Well, bye, Boldon. Nice meeting you, friend. We're going to make our way up to this shrine first, I think, before we uh, progress any further towards the Zora domain. Yeah. The So Coffee Shrine. It's interesting. Sounds like the Soho Coffee Store. Ooh, big hearty radish. So that already heals for four. Can you imagine if we put that into a into some kind of potion? That would give us so many hearts. Because obviously everything you cook just instantly becomes like better anyway. But if combined with other stuff, that would be nuts. Here we are. What lies ahead of us in this room, I wonder? Ooh, it's a very different entrance than before. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am So Coffee. You may have met my brother, So Not Tea. <laughs> there's a guy in this game. If there, if there's a temple and it's called So Not Tea, it's game over. I'll be done. Oh dear. What are you trying to teach us this time in terms of combat? Oh, we got a double blade, have we? Interesting. No, you just want me to fight him. Whoa, my! What in the world? That hardly seems fair. Oh my god. Alright. Let's just try and do some damage on him. Uh, I should probably do it eating some food as well. I didn't know, He just rat a at me with loads of hits at the beginning there. Let's eat that bad boy. Um, I don't think there's much else I can eat right now other than like baseline food. I don't know if it's worth getting rid of that. I'm going to save some other stuff. wonder if that'll give... No, that won't give me resistance to electricity. No, sod it. Let's just eat some like regular fish. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh! We can keep a nice distance on him here. Oh! I tell you what, actually, if we get a one-handed sword, we might be able to deflect some of those abilities that he's trying out. So let me grab myself a uh, the Zora sword. 
because that's a little bit stronger as well. There we go. Nice. You going for it then? Go on. Try it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I pressed A the moment he did that charge, but that did nothing for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I thought he was going to go for an attack there. He's so scary. No, that's not doing anything. I'm just wasting everything here. Uh, got that nice a little bit of damage for you there. Uh, let me get another one-handed weapon. I guess the Lazalfos arm is going to go pretty quickly. Let me just eat one more bit of grub as well. What are we looking at? Uh, apples. Apples for days, mate. Plenty of apples. A few people have told me as well that um, in regards to my heart counter um, and my stamina counter. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Let me get behind the pillar. I'm going to just let him destroy that one himself. Oh, 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 that actually gives you an opening. Oh, dude, yes. Right, so this is trying to teach you how to use the environment. Uh-huh. Oh, is he trying to go for his laser there? Oh. What is he doing? What in the world is he playing at? Should I be worried right now or should I just chill? Let me try and knock him out. Yeah, might as well just do a little bit of damage on him whilst we have a chance. There you go. All right, you coming for us? Whoa! I don't like the little ones. They're scary. They're really scary. Nice. Go on. Finish him off. Whoa, close. Come on. Go for the oh, he didn't go for the sword. Oh, no, he didn't go for the sword again. And the arm's broken. That sounds so painful. Okay, right. Here we go. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's just doing his laser again. So if I just chill over here, I should be all right. Tell you what, let me just nail him with a few more arrows. Maybe if I use a better arrow, that might speed the process up a little bit. There you go. Still don't know why it's first person whenever I go into that arrow. It's a bit odd. I'm not going to waste the bomb arrow because those are hella expensive. All right, what have we got? Oh, come on. Oh, he's moved so far away. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, jeez. Now he's using that ability. Is that going to blast through the wall and hit me as well? I'm worried. I'm worried. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I'm just going to hold my shield up. No, we're good. Oh, no, he did a second one. Dude, come on. Play by the gentleman's rules. Come on. Oh, no. Bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. That's fine. I think he's going to do his spinning thing again. I might just bring out a bomb arrow or something. Yeah, should we go for it? Let me, let me get a stronger bow as well. 20. There you go. Max damage on that front. Max damage on this front. You can sod off. Oh, he only went down to 64. God damn it. All right. There you go. A little bit more. Nice. One more and he's finished. Good, right. Task complete, I hope. Mm. Yep, all finished. I wonder if we're going to get anything cool from that. So that was a minor test of strength. So I'm curious to see what um, what items it yields. Whoa, the Guardian Shield. A shield made with ancient Sheikah technology. It can deflect... What was that? Hold on a minute. That said something about deflecting. I think that said scout beams. Uh, I'm going to drop you. What does that do? Let me check. It can deflect a guardian scout beam. Oh, my God. Really? Dude, we need to start, like, gathering loads of those guardian shields. So that basically means whenever we come across a guardian, we'll be set. I think that can deflect the big guys as well. Although, in fairness, we already know how to do that with, you know, a regular old cobalt shield as well. So I don't guess it, I guess it's not too important. Right, inside of there, what we got? Ooh, the knight's bow, 26. That's insane. I'm sure that I upgraded... Oh, I didn't upgrade the inventory slot on that. Only by one, though. And then old Hestu disappeared on us. Right, here we go. Knight's bow. Nice. Right, continue upwards here. How many orbs does, is this going to put us at, by the way? I feel like that's going to be four. It might only be three, though. Let's check. Skip past that. Oh, that is number four. Okay, I think we need to go and upgrade our hearts. Let's do that. Because people told me that my stamina wheel should be pretty good now. It should be able to do basically everything in the game that I would want it to. Um, and a lot of people have kind of spoiled it for me in the comments, so thanks for that. But they've told me that I need a certain number of hearts in order to be able to acquire the Master Sword. They haven't said where it is or what happens and all that sort of stuff, so I appreciate that. But even that little thing about having X number of them... It's a little bit of a spoiler, so I was a little bit annoyed about that, but it's fine. Right, where was a statue? Oh, I'll tell you what, where there was one. There was one in Hatano Village. I, I want to show you that one, actually, because that one's a little bit hidden out of the way. Because I didn't, I didn't, never saw it the first time around. I think it was when I was just sort of playing in my own time. 
um, on my second profile, which is always just a little bit behind the Let's Play. Um, I actually came across it when I was exploring. Oh yeah, guess who's back in town? Me, I am. People told me as well that apparently in Hatano Village, you know those IKEA homes that we looked at and sort of like joked around about? Apparently, this is only like a rumor from like two or three comments I saw, uh, but people have told me that you can actually go ahead and buy one of those houses. I think it requires something insane like a thousand rupees and I think you need like 30 chunks of wood as well or something daft like that, but it's actually a thing that you can do, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna go for a heart container. As much as I do love my old stamina and I do like climbing, to areas where I probably shouldn't be. I don't want to get my butt whooped. And it feels like we're going into quite a major story part as well, doesn't it? It feels like we potentially are going to be going on one of the Divine Beasts, so I want to be, you know, extra careful about that. All right, back we are then. Harry, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just Link. Oh, sorry. You don't, yes, you don't have the scar, do you? Don't know why Har Hagrid's voice is changing. Anyway, it looks almost like we're headed towards Mount Doom here. I'm hoping that I've taken the right path. Just FYI, like, I don't know if I am going the right way to follow the, uh, the Zora request. Oh my god, whoa, I forgot that shield was equipped. That's a nice little shield. Uh, I'm not going to waste that weapon on those 1 HP heads. I'm going to use that one instead. What's that? A strength and Lazal bow. Suddenly we just have, like, a spike in regards to the, uh, the power of all these weapons. Freaking hell, 25 damage that one does. Uh, we can certainly get rid of one of you, boys. Grab that one instead. That's awesome. This is part of the reason as well where I feel like we're going the wrong ways because everything just seems stronger. Even that trial kind of had us on the back foot. It wasn't too difficult, but certainly felt a bit different. Where's this taking us? Yeah, see, look, that looks like it's going to send us right the way up there. I feel like maybe we should have gone across. No, because we came across the bridge from that side, didn't we? Hmm. We can always go back. We can always teleport back to the tower and then carry on down the other path. Let's just follow this one and see where it leads us to. I like when you put the guardian shield away as well. It actually like retracts, you know, like the sort of the glowy bluey stuff. It all just sort of like remains back inside the core. What was that? What in the world is that? Oh no, 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 don't whistle you idiot. Oh my God, no. Jeez, that was close. Right, let's give this a try. What are you? It's some kind of, it's like a, it's like a mate, an ice wiz, what? An ice wizard, did that say? Or whiz robe? Come here. Oh, I, don't, I can't get a good shot of him. There you go. Oh, that's not the best picture in the world. <laughs> but at least it's added. Right. Do we try and attack him? Tell you what, if he's ice, let's hit him with some fire. See how he likes them apples. Oh, no. Did I get him? Oh, no, he disappeared. Does that mean he's about to teleport and appear right next to me? I bet it does. I bet he's going to suddenly pop out of nowhere. Oh, no, unless he fled completely. I think we might have scared him off. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. I was a little bit worried about as, about how powerful he may have been. Because I've not encountered one of those before. Oh! No, we actually killed him! An ice rod. It does five damage. A magical rod crafted from refined ice found in the Hebra Mountains. The rod can cast we uh, waves of freezing air. Great for magic, not so great for melee. What? I didn't even know we had magic in this game. Other than, well, I guess I know that I did know that. Because we had the fire rod. Uh, let me get rid of... I guess it's a melee weapon, right? Let's get rid of one of these arms. And grab the ice rod. I want to give this a try. Do we have a mana gauge or anything? <laughs> oh, that was so cool. It doesn't even really do anything just yet, but I like it. So what happens if you, like, do this? Whoa. That's awesome. No, I don't want to throw it. Good God, no. So it just looks like it does magic. Only a little bit, though. Oh, hello. She's like Impa. Savota. Savota. Oh. I am Karsh of the Gerudo. Remember that name. If you go north of here to Goron City, there's a place called Goron Hot Springs that's supposed to be good for your skin. Mm. And you'll need to take good care of your skin too, after the monsters on the way there tear it to ribbons. Okay. So I don't think this is the way we were supposed to be going, but why don't we keep on investigating? <laughs> Sounds like there's going to be a Goron City up this way. I like it. I get the feeling the monsters are going to be pretty dire though in a moment. Oh, hello friend. That's a nice horse you got there. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. I'm Zorona, and I live for mystery. One mystery lately has kept me sleepless like no other. It's that danged fang and bone. Who runs it? What do they sell? And is it really true you can find it at night by Skull Lake? 
It's all done in a minute. I need to know about this. Hold on a second. Let me make a little notepad file on my computer. So we said it was called the Fang and Bone. And you can get to it, what was that? Uh, at night, out by Skull Lake. Cool, that is good to know. Note that down. Thank you very much, Serona. That's a nice name you got there as well. Ooh, what was, oh, there was some kind of mist coming from there a second ago. Oh no, it's just the random like ambience. The random ambient smoke and glass clouds. Glass clouds, gas clouds even. So what's up here? Ooh, a boar. Hello, friend. I'm not gonna. Uh, no, I'm not gonna roast Pumba. Sod it. So what is this way? Oh, we're actually about to break into a whole new area. Oh, I got him right in the butt. Oh, he's not down though. Cheeky. Uh, where's he going? No, he's way too far away. <laughs> Never mind. So now we've broken into an entirely new area. So the tower for this one is right the way up there. What's over here? Oh, there's a shrine there. Ooh, I wonder. Did we try and go to it? Yeah, I guess we could do. It looks like it's not too far away. Is that that damn fox? <gasps> I could finally kill it. Yes, we finally got the fox. Oh my god, it's been episodes and episodes and episodes, but we finally got him. Hell yes. Right, it looks like there's a few enemies over this way. Although I don't have any clue what you are. Let me have a little look. Oh no, that's just a pelican. Okay. Or oh, wait, no, is that an ostrich? What are you? I want to find out. I know there's some guys over there. Oh, no, and they're also in trouble. Okay, hold on. We're coming, friends. We will rescue you. Don't you worry now. Oh, dude, it freezes him. Can I shatter him into pieces? Oh, you can. Oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. Oh, he's dead as well. That's so OP. And then get the sword out and... Oh, mate. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Come on, then. Try it, try it. Oh, no, he's trying it numerous times. Nice, gotcha. Couple slashes here. Oh, I tried to move out the way. <gasps> I'm on health. I'm on so little health. Hold on a minute. Hold on, I need to nibble nobble on something. Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Staminoka base. Armored plug. Okay, that'll do. And a couple apples. Okay, and now we're good. Let's have a look. Should have just frozen him, really, but I don't want to waste all of the ice rod if it's going to come in that handy. Right, what we got? Oh, a new one. A Dragon Bone Boko Club. What in the world? 24 damage. This Bokoblin Club has been re reinforced with fossilized bones to maximize clobbering potential. Only the brawniest of Bokoblins can manage its immense weight. That is... <laughs> that sounds really cool. How much was it again? It was 24, wasn't it? Dude, we can get rid of some pretty janky stuff here. And pick up some nice ones. Is that one any good? Spiked Boko Club? Mm, that's probably going to be better than some of the other stuff. That's a 12, isn't it? We're holding on to that boomerang. I'm not entirely sure why, to be fair. Hello, friend. Are you okay? Can we have a little chat with you when you're on your feet? Nat. And here I was just telling McGean to be more careful of her surroundings. Still, my hearty truffles. I put it with worse. Wait, are you the same truffle lady that we met in like a completely different area? Or is there just like a guild of you? The truffle guild. We were minding our own business, hunting for truffles, and then wham! Monsters. Out of nowhere. I blame my sister, really. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some hearty truffles. All right, fair play. Ooh, there's actually a little shack down there as well. I know I've gone completely off tangent, by the way, everybody. We will visit the Zora domain and all that good stuff soon, but this at the moment is far, far too appealing and too interesting to pass up. Oh, God, that wizard's up there. Probably got to be careful with him. Who's that? Oh, my God, is that? I think it is. It's Beedle. <laughs> Whoa! You came to see me again? That makes Beetle so happy! Yeah, I bumped into this guy at the... Remember the first stable that we encountered before Kakariko Village? He was wandering around there one time. But don't get the wrong idea now! Beetle's heart belongs to Hyrule! Yeah, what are you selling, friend? Woohoo! Suddenly Mario. Uh, hearty Lizard, 100 rupees. I don't think any of that's really worth it for us. How many... We've got 24 arrows in our inventory at the moment. We've never had a tireless frog before, but I don't think I want to waste money on it. Okay, good stuff. Right, let's have a little wander. Oh, that is a stable as well. Oh, we don't get stables as travel points, do we? I'm fairly certain that we don't. I guess if we go up to the shrine and uh, complete the challenge there, then we could have that as a teleport spot. Oh my god, you're one of the bird dudes. Oh, listen to him.
I always get the names of the songs mixed up from the series. Do 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 do. But you can't deny that they're catchy jingles, can you? Oi! Welcome to the stable. Uh, no, I'm good, mate. I don't think I need a pony right now. I was just wondering if there was a fast travel around here, but apparently not. Anything good inside of here? Oh, we got a couple planks of wood. That's not bad. Got some mushrooms over here as well. I'm just thinking we could do with grabbing ourselves a bit of noms, because then we can um, we can get some better food for when we get into more combat scenarios. Because we are running a little bit low at the moment. Actually, I think we got. I think we're on zero technically. So let's have a little wander over to this fire. Cook something up. I didn't think I ever actually spoke to him, did I? Yeah. Ah, greetings, traveler. How about a song? Oh. The, that there? On your hip? No, I, I, I'm i sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Mm? Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? I'm going to pretend I haven't just so he plays more for me. Yay. Mm. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praise of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It's passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Hell yeah we do. This might actually help us figure out the timeline as well a little bit. Excellent. Without further ado. The Kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises once again, Ganon. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song, to keep it through time, no matter how long. Now begins the second verse, listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon, 10,000 years ago. I, wh where did the rhyme go there? <laughs> the kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws. So the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at the source. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased. Each of these titans was called a divine beast. And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess, and knights, their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. Oh dear. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed his teeth and thrashed about, but it was too late. The guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The divine beast unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck with the final blow and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon's soul. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. Well, that was quite nice. We've already seen it before, but it was quite nice hearing it in the rhyme. It's nice to get a little refresher on the story and our purpose every so often. 
thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. All right, shall do, dude. Right, we are going to make some food. Ooh, the Iron Sledgehammer. How I have missed you, friend. Uh, what are we going to get rid of? I think we might may finally get rid of the boomerang. Of course we're not going to get rid of the mop. Don't be silly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that might be the best shout. Although, to be fair, all our weapons are really good right now, bar the mop. Uh, nah, I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Right, let's go cook ourselves some food then. So, what do we have in hand? We've got a load of raw meat, so we could make something pretty groovy out of that. Let's do that, and let's mix it with just something interesting. What about a... Increase attack power temporarily? That sounds kind of cool. Let's try that. Let's see if you can mix bananas and meat. Sounds like you probably can't, but it'd be interesting if we could. No, we can! Yeah! The Mighty Meat Skewer gives you, what, five hearts? And it gives an attack bonus for 1 minute 50. That'll do. What else have we got? I like learning all these recipes, so I'm definitely not going to edit this out, by the way. Um, let's get a Stealth in Trout. We could even just try cooking that by itself, just so we've got the recipe at our disposal. Is there actually a recipe list, by the way? I kind of hope there is. Like, once we've cooked something for the first time, if we go to Log, maybe. No, nothing inside of there. Oh, it's kind of a shame we don't have recipes. Because I know you can access the recipe by clicking on each one to see what the recipe of it was. But the fact you can't keep the, those recipes afterwards is kind of a shame. Oh, man, let's cook this meat. Uh, should we just hold two of them? Yeah, let's hold two of them. And let's throw in a, mm, a stealth boost. Or we do want something better. What about like a heart boost? Where were those hearty things from before? Sun shrooms. Ooh. Can be used to cooking dishes that will allow you to endure the bitter cold. Oh, we don't need that just yet, actually. Oh, protection against electricity. You know what? We will do that because that is actually something that's going to be coming up soon, isn't it? So that'll be cool to do. Let's get the animation. Yeah, electro meat and mushroom skewer. That sounds like a new rock band. Uh, grants low level electricity resistance and it's, it heals seven hearts. That is bonkers. Uh, all right, let's mix up two more of these bad boys. There you go. And what else are we going to throw into this one? Let's put in a... What are we thinking? Oh, let's increase defense. I like the sound of that one, yeah. So let's put in two of those. And two of those, like, iron shrooms. See what it does for us. Tough meat and mushroom skewer. Yeah, so it's basically just loads of skewers we're making. How about the legs? Let's get the drumsticks. Let's hold four drumsticks and then throw in a stamina mushroom. Why not? What does that give us? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, just it just gives us lots of those. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be cooking that many of them at once, just simply because I don't actually have that many hearts, so it's a little bit of a waste, isn't it? What about a rush room? That increases movement speed temporarily. Let's give that a try. So we've got two drumsticks from a bird, and that as well. It's just another, it's, it's all just like hasty meat, defensive meat, all that sort of stuff. Uh, let me mix you with, I want to try mixing you with a fish, as daft as that sounds. Uh, maybe, maybe a regular fish. Have we got any regular ones? Oh, no, they're all kind of the different ones. Hmm. What happens if we just mixed it with a frog? <laughs> what happens if you just mix meat and a frog? Yeah, no, disgusting food. All right, whatever. It was worth checking out. What about if I mixed meats? What if I mixed one of those with a bird thigh? Would that give us something horrible? No, that gives us just a regular meat skewer. Dude, they can probably sell for quite a bit. Because I did ask people on Twitter, like, what kind of food you could create that would uh, sell for a lot of money. And that was one of the things that a lot of people suggested. Um, I'm going to hold off on making elixirs for now. I don't think I need those too desperately just yet. But I am going to make my way up to the shrine. I'm going to sort of bypass the little uh, ice wizard that we saw. We can get ourselves a nice little upgrade or some kind of thing before the end of the episode. Holy moly, that's a lot of lava. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Moakit, and welcome to my shrine. Metal makes a path is the name of this thing. I don't even know where to begin, I'll be honest. Absolutely no clue where to start. Do we try and go up there or not? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Should we get stasis out? I reckon stasis might come in handy here. There you go. Stop. All right, you chill out there for a second. Just allow me to get onto this platform here. Do we want to go up there? It looks like there's a chest just up there. I wonder if we can... Oh, no, that's going to stop us right there, isn't it? Go on, and as soon as it drops out, stop. Oh, no, I tried to stop it in midair. 
I wonder if it would stop in mid actually. Uh, it seems to, but then I'm thinking of one's about to drop in, right? Oh, no, no, we're good. We're fine. That's all good. So, we got that chest. And then, is that it? And then after that, do we literally just have to get ourselves over there? The Knight Broadsword, 26 damage. That's definitely a two-hander, isn't it? Let me see what two-hander we can get rid of in exchange for that. Let's get rid of a... Probably a Boko Club, right? Yeah, let's get rid of... Or uh, maybe not. Should we finally par off the boomerang? No, 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 we're not. We're not. <laughs> we're keeping the mop. Right, let's open you up. What you got? There we are. Good job. Right, Stasis is about to run out on this bad boy. I'm going to follow you right the way down. I'm worried that something's going to come behind me. Chill. Oh, no, 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 Stasis has run out. Oh. <laughs> and the cooldown hadn't finished up yet. All right, that's fine. So now we're here. So how is this going to work? Do we have to use Magnesis to block the... Um, to block the gap, maybe. So let me use Magnesis. So if I quickly grab you. There we go, dude. Right, I need you to do some kind of magic. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. God damn it. That's not fair. That's not fair. Whoa, steady on now. Right, now I'm hoping if I'm holding this. Oh, the chest is already open. Oh, okay, never mind then. False alarm, everybody. Oh, here you go. Oh, I don't like it when I can't really see where I'm stood. That's how I died a second ago. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay. Nice. Oh, you can. You can literally just knock everything out of the way. So I think we pretty much just have to use this bad boy to um, to basically just push the path back up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed, dude. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Stay down there, stay down there. Push. Come on, you're stronger than they are. I'm having to hold down on the, on the side it's so hard. No, 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 no. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, this isn't going to end well. This is not going to end well for me. Maybe if it can hold them up. Oh, jeez. They just come so frequently. Can that push them right the way back up there? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, don't roll over the top. No, 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 no. I'm going to get hit. Oh, no, my God. I got knocked over the side. Let me see if I can do it on one of the next ones. I'm just going to keep spamming A until one of them falls into it. Oh, no, they're all so fast. Come on, you got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, no. Yep, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Right, 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 right. Go. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. <laughs> We're just through. That was not the way that was intended to be done, but it works anyway. In the little way. That's what we like to call it on this channel. <laughs> oh, my God. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Yeah, it does. My resourcefulness. Let's, let's call it that. Instead of calling it the wrong way to do it, it's just the resourceful way to do it. May the goddess smile upon you. 